So I think it's a meritorious piece of legislation. I think it's an amendment that deserves consideration on the floor. And it's beginning to appear that it may not actually even get a vote. Notwithstanding that I'm pending, we may be edged right out. And I just want to explain why. The people who've been watching this debate have seen long hours of nothing happening on this floor. There has been a lot of delay. There has been a lot of delay allowing us to get to amendments. Now, why is that? Well, we are up against a time restriction on this bill. It's a practical time restriction. The leader needs to make sure that we pass the supplemental defense appropriation bill that funds our troops. What could be more important than we have troops in the field, overseas, serving our country, putting themselves in harm's way, that we provide them the resources they need to be successful? We have to do that. We have to do something to increase the strength of our economy. In Rhode Island, we're at 12.6 percent unemployment. We've been in the top three states for unemployment every single month of the Obama administration. We're in our, I think, 28th month of severe recession. So we know how bad this economy is and how much more we need to do to try to bolster it. And so we need to get to the next jobs bill, the jobs and tax extenders bill, to make sure that we're providing the necessary support to our economy. We have to get to those things. And because of all the delay that our friends on the other side have built into the process, we're now getting to an end point where we're starting to be squeezed for time. And now that we're squeezed for time, they're refusing to give time agreements to amendments like mine that would actually make a difference. They don't want to vote in favor of out-of-state corporations and against their home state's ability to protect their home state's fellow citizens. But they do want the out-of-state corporations to win. They don't want to vote in their favor, but they want them to win. And if that's your position, the perfect thing is to delay and delay and delay until it gets to be here at the end, crunch time, and then take the amendments that worry you, the amendments that will really get after the big banks, the amendments that will really be fair to consumers, and refuse to give time agreements and vote agreements on those, and basically run out the clock. So that's the position that we are in right now. It appears that there is no willingness on the other side of the aisle to give this a vote, not just at a 50-vote margin, even at a 60-vote margin. They don't want to be on record supporting these out-of-state credit card companies that are gouging their own citizens. They just want them to win and they figured out this way to do it. The only alternative is to call the bill up what is called post-cloture, which means I have to be technically something called germane. And right now we're working with a parliamentarian to argue as strongly as we can that we are indeed germane. And it is an open question whether or not we are indeed germane, and I hope it gets resolved in our favor uh, before the bill comes up in in uh, its regular order post-cloture. But that is the situation. If people are wondering why this amendment does not appear to be on any list, is not going anywhere, it is because there is a blockade of it on the other side. They are taking advantage of the time crunch that they created with all the delays that led us to this time crunch to squeeze out the amendments where they don't want to vote against the big banks. They don't want to vote, I'm sorry, they don't want to vote for the big banks. They don't want to vote for the big credit card companies, but they do want the big banks and the big credit card companies to win. So it's the squeeze play at the end to try to drive these really impactful amendments that will really make a tangible, immediate difference in the lives of Rhode Islanders and in the lives of their home state citizens, the ones who are paying those 30 plus percent interest rates that until very recently would have been a matter to bring to the authorities in this country, not a matter that the Senate tried to defend. And so that's where we are. So I will continue to work with the parliamentarian to make sure that we are germane post-cloture, and I will continue to argue to try to get a vote, uh, but forces are arrayed against this at this point, and I want to be perfectly candid about it. 
I yield the floor.